Hi, my name is Seth Merriweather, and I play Rudy Pazinski in Over the Tavern. Hi, my name is Trey Christopher, and I play Georgie Pazinski in Over the Tavern. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Bemis, and I play Andy Pazinski in Over the Tavern. And this, and this is, is Behind the Scenes at ASF. And now we're going to answer some questions that you guys might have about Over the Tavern. Okay, so is this your... Wait, I'm going to ask the question. I want to ask the question. I'm going to ask the question. I'm asking the question. I want to ask the question. No, no, no. no. Okay, this is what we're going to do. This is the solution, okay? We're going to play rock, paper, scissors, and whoever wins gets to ask the question. What? Yes. Fine. Okay, ready? Yeah. Yes. Okay. What was it like portraying a 1950s character for y'all? Um, I really liked it. I think it's been cool. I like kind of stepping out of our own time and like going back and um, wearing the beehive is really great because, I mean, nowadays, who do you see with the beehive besides like Amy Winehouse or something like that? Mm -hmm. um, so that's been really cool and the, the lingo and stuff is so different and it's really fun. Yeah, um, I'd say like the language and the dress and everything, um, like my costumes are like, you know, suspenders and, you know, Converse high tops, jeans rolled up, you know, and the slang, you know, they say like jeepers and, you know, stuff like that, so. It's real different because you get to go back and see what they would have actually lived like and how they, it would have been for them. Their parents didn't really care if they would run out of the house and go spend the night with somebody for three nights, and you know, they they would let other people do that. You could walk around and not worry about anything, and it's just really neat getting to do all the different stuff because now we wear uniforms to school with ties and coats and stuff. And we, 1950s, they played around in like khaki short, khaki pants and plaid shirts and belts. And Yes, I will. Okay. Um, how do your friends feel about you being cast in the performance? They're really excited for me because they're glad that I've got this because they know how much I enjoy it. Um, I don't get to see them as much as I used to because with the rehearsal schedule and all, but <clears throat> usually whenever we get like a break or like on the weekends when we're off, I'll usually have them like, we'll come over and hang out for a little while and we'll catch up on just whatever we've been That's pretty much the same for me. My friends are all so excited for me when I got the part because they know how important acting is for me and this being like my first professional um, role. And they're all going to come see it and they're all really excited. They all have their tickets. Um, I haven't been able to see them as much either because their rehearsal schedule has been um, very kind of, I guess, long, but that's okay. So they're really excited. What about you? Um, my friends are all, all think it's pretty cool that I'm in the performance. We go on school trips to see plays here all the time, and that to know that I'm in one, they think it's really cool. Um, and I don't get to see them as much on the weekends because that's pretty much taking up my time. And What was your least favorite part about your character and your favorite part about your character? Um, my favorite part about my character is, like I said, he's very happy and caring and he loves everybody. Um, my least favorite, probably, he has a cussing problem. <laughs> There's like a delinquent that t taught him SHIT, and so he, he, he says it all the time and, you know, he, it gets like, a reaction out of his family and friends, and he thinks it's funny, so he's, he just goes around saying it all the time. And, so. and you practice your lines at school in front of your teachers, <laughs> and they love it. <laughs> okay, um, the part that I love about my character is um, the way he's the youngest, and everybody would like come to him for information. His oldest brother comes for him when he draws a picture on the church wall by the dumpster. And he gets in big trouble. For, he doesn't get in big trouble for that, but he thinks he does. Um, 
everybody else. He plays with his brother Georgie. Uh, the thing that I don't like about him is he has too many questions. Me being me, I don't like people to ask me a lot of questions because it's like, you know, but I guess that's just the kind of person I am because I kind of already know all this stuff and I don't want to have to repeat it again. But yeah. So. I'm the same way. <laughs> Um, my least favorite part about Annie is that she is so, like, overly sensitive about everything and she's <laughs> constantly crying and, like, I don't get along with people that take everything so seriously and are just, like, always crying and stuff, but I really like about playing the character is that she's dynamic and so she can be really funny, but then she has her serious moments and she can be, um, you know, really sweet, but then she can just be kind of, like, Oh, I'm a teenager, I don't care about you, da, da, da. so it's, it's really fun. So we're all kind of, you know. They can be their way. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Hopefully we answer some of your questions. For more information, go to ASF.net. Or you can call the box office at 334-271-5353.